Good morning, students. Welcome to the online classes. Today, in exercise number 4.2, the fourth main. What was the question? Huh? Question was draw the front view. Draw the front view. Exercise number 7.2, fourth. In there, it was written that a military, a military tent. A military tent. Draw the front view. So military tent, you know, like this it will be. So it is a military tent. So it will be a top view. It will be a top view. Front view. Front view. Side. So they are they are making us to draw the they are making us to draw the front view. How it will be front view? So this is the front view. So if you enter, if you do the MCC, you will come to the front view. After this, they ask for side. Side is like this. Side is like this. Side view. And last, from top, how it is going to look? It is going to look like this. From top, it is going to look like this. So one tent, if it is given for you, from front it will look like this, from side it is going to look like this and from top, what is that? Top view. Top. After this they give second one, table. What they have one? Table. This is the first one, second one is table. Second one is table. So from front, from side, And from top, if the table is given for you, from front it will look like this, from side it will look like this, from top it will look like this. And third one given is weight. What they have given? Weight. So from front it will look like this, from front it will look like this and from side, from side it will look like this and from top, from top it will look like this. From top it will look like this. So, if a weight is given for you, from front it will look like this, from side it will look like this, and from top it will look like this. Fourth one, what they have given? Fourth one, they have given hexagonal block. What they have given? Hexagonal block. From front, it will look like this. 
hexagonal means six sided your ear sometimes it will be in this shape and from side it will look like this from side it will look like this and from top from top from top it is going to look like this from top it will look like this what is this one hexagonal block hexagonal block from top front it will look like this from side it will look like this from top it will look like this fifth one why did i draw like this means a dice what it is given dice a dice is given to so from front it will look like this from side it will look like this from top side view top view side view top view what they have given for us they have given for us dice yeah what they have given for us front front side top So what they have given? Last one, last one they give a solid. How it will look like this from front, side, and top. So these are the objects when we observe them from front, side, and top. So we have different dimensions, 2D and 3D. When they are observed 3D, 3D objects, they are going to like look like this from front. side and top and later on there was a mapping a scale around us what it was mapping a scale around us so first question what is that only one exercise one problem they have given look at the given map of a city so first question is they have written chemistry hospital library market city college community center water plant lake bus depot fire station gandhi road primary school city park locality secondary school market road a road b road c and road d so four main roads will connect the city and uh, alternate roads are there three alternate roads are there one will connect from cemetery and another one will connect from hospital and another uh, road will link from market so you have to draw the diagram and first they said that color the map of uh, map as follows you have to color it so it is interesting eighth standard children will get the fourth standard coloring map and it is it will increase your interest and as you know that they have made you to color by saying for lake for lake you have to color uh, blue color for water red, red color for fire station orange color for library yellow color for school green color for park pink color for college purple color for hospital and brown 
color for symmetry. Are you understanding this one? So, like this, you have to draw and color it in your classwork. Exercise number. Exercise number. Seven point two. It is for your knowledge. When you enter from village to city, so you should have some knowledge. Maximum students after ten they will go for college for city. For them it is to make them knowledge about the city roads. And for city children, they are creating the map in their mind to say the particular places when it is asked by someone or if you want to reach in early time. These are the some methods to understand clearly. Or to avoid the traffic, so first one you have to color yourself. You have to color yourself. Second, second they said mark S X. Mark green color X. Wherever green it is there, there you should write X. And there after that intersecting roads C. What are intersecting roads? Intersection roads. Wherever the intersections of the roads will come, there you should write it as C. Nehru Road, green color. Nehru Road. So it will be interesting to do this. So you have to add it in my WhatsApp after completing. Green, why? And after this, they have given intersection of the Nandi Road. Road A. Intersection of Gandhi Road. Gandhi Road. Road A. That is second question. Third, in red, draw sheets route from library to the bus depot. So seeing this, you should draw. What you have to draw? You have to draw from library to the bus depot. Library to bus depot. Suppose you are coming from Bus, how to reach for library? So it is a map in your mind. You have to set it. First, for that you have to draw it. Then you have to set it in your mind. They are making you to know, get knowledge and not to get in the traffic. Fourth question: Which is the farthest further east, the city park or the market? This answer we can say. What a whether it is a, which is away from the city. And answer for this is these all questions should be written by yourself. Only D question it will be answered by me. What is that answer means? Sir? It is a city park. So they are making you to know. First one, fourth one, which is the further east, the city park or a market. And the answer for this is. City Park. What is the answer? City Park. So you should write the question and answer. And after this, which is the further south? Primary school or secondary school? And answer for this is secondary school. Which is the answer? Secondary school. You see the map? We'll come to know. Secondary school. And after this, we have some questions. Draw a map of your classroom using proper scale and symbols for different objects. So, what you have to do? Your class. In COVID-19, there is no class. But in your 7th standard, you saw your class. 7th class. Draw. Your 7th class, you observe, no? Draw that. Third. Draw a map of your school compound using proper scale and Okay, this is also yourself. School compound. We have our school compound. So these are the some interesting work which it will create using proper scale. And they made you to draw the playground, the main building garden, this all. And fourth one, draw a map giving instruction to your friend to uh, sir, uh, see, reach your house without any difficulty. I said no, yesterday for your friend. Indication to your house. You have to do it. 
how you are going to indicate for your friend that which is your home so suppose after ring road it is there means you will say humnabad base or ganj or something like this so you have to write it in a class order so exercise number 7.2 it is self oriented answers you have to write it in your class order then comes what is that faces edges and vertices faces what is that faces exercise number 7.3 last exercise of this chapter 7.3 here we are learning for a particular diagram we have faces edges and vertices if you know these three you can learn the eulers formula you can learn the eulers formula what is the eulers formula it will balance the f plus v equal to f plus v uh, f plus v equal to e plus 2 f plus e equal to v plus 2 it is a standard eulers formula it is applicable for all solid figures all solid figures which are polyhedrons which are polyhedrons so i'll make you to know first faces as yesterday i showed the plane surface of a solid figure is called as surface and where the two surfaces will meet it is called as edges it is called as edges and where the edges will come and meet they are called as vertices they are called as vertices now in my hand we have a chopis box which it is in the shape of cube cuboid cube cuboid and later on we have some questions in our test book that is triangular pyramid triangular prism pyramid with a square base prism with a square base pyramid with a square base and a prism with a square base and we we are going to see these these definitions we are going to see the page number 96 so you have to draw these diagrams you have to draw the diagrams important and after this we will say that polyhedrons so page number 96 important you should write you should write full definition you should write definition full from page number 96 with the diagrams with the diagrams so i will make you to know each of these solids is made up of polyhedron region poly polygonal regions which are called as its faces i said no it is a polyhedron now it is made up of faces edges vertices three important points if they are present in that solid then it is called as polyhedron then it is called as polyhedron each each of these solids is made up of poly, polygonal region which are called its faces and these faces meet at the edges which are line segments and we and the edges meet at a at a vertices at a point such solids are called as polyhedrons for such i said no cube or cuboid or pyramid or prism they are called as polyhedrons why they have edges vertices and faces three three things should be there faces edges vertices then we can say them that they are polyhedrons now next question arises which are not polyhedrons which are not polyhedrons and your 9th and 10th classes are full of polyhedrons full of polyhedrons in higher classes you are going to learn about the which are not polyhedrons so now i can show this one yesterday i drawn this diagram will you name this one sphere 
sphere is not a polyhedron why why sphere is not a polyhedron it has no faces it has no vertices it has no edges so which solid do not have faces edges vertices it can be called as it is not a polyhedron which has we can call it as a polyhedron example chopis box match box almari pyramid prism these all are polyhedrons sphere cylinder now comes cylinder so even cylinder comes in not a polyhedron after cylinder we have cone so these three important things you should remember these are not polyhedron you may ask the question that it has vertices even though it has vertices but it has no face or edges are you understanding this one? but it has vertices so one is a sphere another one is cone and another one is cylinder and you remember that for this what is the name curved surface what is that curved surface for this we will say curved surface and for this cone we can say that it is a base it is a base and for this we can say that lateral surface see in this it is curved so we will say curved surface in this it is lateral we can say that it is lateral surface so if you are 9th standard you will solve some problems without this knowledge you cannot move for that and cylinder is like this it has two base it has two base sorry the name has got interchanged sorry for that i should write i should write for this as cylinder for this as cylinder and for this as cone hmm? how many bases are there for cylinder two bases are there. and for cone only one base how many lateral surfaces are there for cone one and how many lateral surface has cylinder one is there lateral surface for sphere no it has curved surface it has curved surface lateral surface so these are the some properties which i made you to know that these are not polyhedrons these are not polyhedrons which are polyhedrons i said so these come under the not a polyhedrons which are those three which we can say that they are not polyhedrons they are sphere cylinder cone why sphere is not called as a polyhedron it has curved surface why cylinder is, uh, sorry sphere is not called as a polyhedron it has a curved surface why cylinder is not called as a polyhedron it has two bases and lateral surface why cone is called as uh, uh, cannot be called as polyhedron it has lateral surface it has lateral surface and base even these diagrams also they have these all but they should have edges faces and vertices edges and after this we have some new formula what is that euler formula faces plus edges equal to vertices plus 2 if you add lhs equal to rhs it will obey that it is a polyhedron in this it will not obey that it is a polyhedron another easiest one of our euler great scientist made you to understand that lhs equal to rhs it is a polyhedron it is a polyhedron if it is not lhs equal to rhs it is not a polyhedron so very interesting it is f stands for faces e stands for edges v stands for vertices in this what faces and edges are there it should be obeyed by vertices and plus 2 and it was given by the great scientist euler after this we have convex poly polyhedron as you studied that 
we have not only comics concave also in that also we have some so i hope that page number 96 very important page number 96 is very important part of the journal page 96 it will make you to get 96 only in maths very important int very important page so draw once again and they made you to understand that there are some regular polyhedrons and irregular polyhedrons that means which are con uh, which are convex polyhedrons they can be considered as regular polyhedrons and which are not a, uh, not a convex polyhedrons they are called as irregular a polyhedron is said to be a regular if its faces are made up of a regular polygons and their same number of faces meet at each vertex each vertex and second uh, this uh, polyhedron is regular because faces are congruent. Now I will show for you. Now the, the faces are going to look same. Vertex is formed by the same number of faces. Where the faces will meet, so vertices are formed. These are called as regular. Regular polyhedron. Regular polyhedron. Suppose, now for this, I can consider this only. Uh, this poly polyhedron is not a regular. It is not a regular. All these sides are congruent, but the vertices are formed by the same number of faces. Three faces meet at A, but four faces meet at a B. Sometimes what it will happen for bulge, for bulge or for different curve shape, we have different faces, four faces and different four faces meeting at one point. Those are not called as regular polyhedrons. They are not called as regular polyhedrons. And suppose two important members of the polyhedron family, which are the two important family means one is prism, one is prism and another one is pyramid. So you will study polyhedrons with prism and pyramid. And it is very interesting that our Egyptians constructed even in some places when you will visit the monuments for Hampi and some other places, we are going to see a lot of geometry hidden in that which it is unexplainable by any person that how the constructions are being done and in your Ulberg also we have some examples so visit those places and you can find out the polyhedrons it is not a for your studies it is new but for our civilization it is a old still it is undefined not at all defined properly if you uh, define it properly by that we can make our buildings to strong uh, stand strongly for many years or many centuries. We say that a prism is a polyhedron whose base or uh, top are congruent poly uh, polygons, and those other faces, lateral faces, are parallelogram in shape. They are in parallelogram in shape in prism. What about the pyramid? Pyramid is a polyhedron whose base is po polygon of any number of sides whose lateral faces are triangular with a convex vertex. So you have to write this definition. If you join all these corners of the polygon to a point, not in its plane, uh, you will get a, a model of pyramid. Sometimes from a prism or a pyramid is named after its base. I said no, we have square based pyramid and square based prism or triangular based pyramid or triangular based prism. Now I will make you to know that how many faces and how many vertices and how many edges will be there. So it is an important objective type question which it will occur for your till up to pure 2. So you should be having the knowledge about these and you have to go for 3D pictures. And by may, may, uh, making the folding the paper, we can make cone cylinder. Just to take the paper and fold it. Now this is a rectangular shaped paper. If I fold, uh, it, it can be made as cylinder by covering it with two circles. I am showing for you, like art and craft, 
you can learn the geometry so it has curved surface it has curved surface and it is covered with the two bases they are in circular in shape they are circular in shape and still many more diagrams are there page number 96 and page number 97 now for you i will make you to know how many vertices edges and faces will be there for each geometrical shape very important i am giving on board today Can a polygon have uh, for its faces? In that they have given first one, three triangles, and answer is no. What is the first answer? No, it cannot have three faces. Suppose if it has four faces, yes. If it has three faces, means no. If it has four, uh, sorry, if it has three triangles, means it is not a polyhedron. It is not a polyhedron. If it has four triangles, means yes, it is a polyhedron. And third question, what is that? A square and a four triangles. Yes, it is a polyhedron. It is a polyhedron. First, can a polyhedron have its faces three triangles? No. Second, can a polyhedron have for its faces as four triangle yes can a polyhedron have its faces a square and a four triangle answer is yes so these are objective type questions just you should say no yes yes second is it possible to have a polyhedron with any given number of faces answer is yes answer is yes and what is the reason means only if the same question is asked in a different way only if the number of faces Only if the number of faces are number of faces are greater than the are greater than greater than or equal greater than or equal equal to four equal to four. Are you listening my words? What is the second question? Is it possible to have a polyhedron with a given number of faces? Answer is yes. And they are saying only when it is possible, only if the number of faces are greater than the or equal to the four. And the next third mean. What is the third mean given in this exercise? The exercise is very easy. Which are the prism among the given following? And the answer is it is second one. Yes. Why not first one? First one is not a prism. Because it has no four, more than or equal to four faces, and the fourth one, a box is given. See, it is also prism. So, which are prism among the following? And the answer is second one and fourth one. Second one and fourth one. And the next question is, how are prisms and cylinders are alike? How are cylinders and prisms are alike? And answer for this is four one. Four one. A prism becomes a prism becomes a cylinder. A prism becomes cylinder as the number of sides as the number of sides 
as the number of sides of its base of its base becomes larger and larger becomes larger and larger so this is very important a prism becomes a cylinder as the number of base uh, its base of its the number of sides of its bases becomes a larger and larger if you go on expanding for a cylinder it will become a prism then you can do it practically with the paper piece art and craft second question how many pyramids and cones are alike and answer for this is a pyramid a pyramid becomes a cone a pyramid becomes a cone as the as the number of sides as the number of sides of its base as the number of sides uh, of its sides of its base becomes base becomes larger and larger larger and larger after this we have fifth question is a square prism same as a cube and as you know that square by from, from square only it will become a cube now they are asking that is a square prism same as cube and answer for this is no fifth one no never it can uh, it can be a cuboid it can be a cuboid it can be a cuboid also so remember this after this we have some diagrams after this we have some diagrams and they are saying that verify the euler's formula euler's formula. so what we have to do we have to verify the euler's formula what is that six one plus one formula in that faces are seven if you count you will come to vertices are 10 vertices are 10 edges are 15 edges are 15 what is the euler formula f plus v equal to that is 7 plus 10 it will be 17 and then we have e plus 2 that is nothing but 15 plus 2 it is 17 now both are same yes yes it will obey the euler's formula second in sixth one we have second in this, if you count, faces are 9, vertices are 9, and edges are 16. Edges are 16. Now write Euler's formula. F plus V equal to E plus 2. And uh, if you write F, 9 plus 9, it is 18. And second, we should verify E plus 2. That is nothing but E is 16 plus 2. And it is also 18. It will obey. Euler's formula, it will obey. The two diagrams given in the test book, they will obey the Euler's formula. They will obey the Euler's formula. Means, faces, vertices and edges, if you count, you can verify the Euler's formula. And I made you to understand how to count they are 7, how to count they are 10. What is that seventh one? They have given first one f plus v equal to e plus 2. And for us, they have given some information. F they did not give. What I says they give in the column you see and e also they give. We can calculate f according to the linear equation. Uh, plus will become minus in 14, 6 one means the number of faces. The number of faces. It will be 8 for first diagram. 
For first diagram, number of faces will be 8. Second, F plus V equal to E plus 2. And it is given that faces are 5. They didn't give the vertices. Hs are 9 plus 2. If you write 5 plus V equal to, it will be 11. Plus 5 will become minus 5. In 11, 5 are means it will be 6. It will be 6. Which is that vertices. In this they ask for faces. In this they ask for the vertices. And it will be a 2 mark question for exam. So even I am making you to know which will be the 2 marks question. Similarly third one. 7th one, third one. What is that? F plus V. Euler's formula equal to E plus 2. And in this given column, F is 20. V is 12. And they have given to uh, E. What is that? E means edges. We have to find the edges. 20 plus 12. It will be 32. Equal to E plus 2. And plus 2 will become minus 2. That is nothing but E equal to 32 minus 2. And the answer is 30. What is the answer? 30. What is that E? E stands for edges. V stands for vertices. F stands for faces. So three different things we can calculate. In this they have given vertices and edges and we can find out the faces. In this they have given faces and edges we can find the vertices. In this they have given faces and vertices we can find the edges using Euler, Euler's formula. And the last of this exercise what they have given means can a polyhedron have 10 faces, 20 edges and 15 vertices and we can find out. For that again we have to write same Euler's formula. And we should verify. If both answer came same means, yes, it is a polyhedron. If both answer didn't came same means, it is not a polyhedron. What they have given? Note down that. It is like a seventh question, but we have to compare it. Already it is given that faces are 10, edges are 20, and vertices. How many they give? 15. What is the Euler's formula? Euler's formula is F plus V equal to E plus 2. Substitute. F means 10. E means 15. That is nothing but 20 plus 2 and it will not get verified. In this it is 25 and in this it is 22. It is not a polyhedron. Answer is, it is not a polyhedron. Because it should obey the Euler's formula. Think about this great person. How he made you to understand that it is a polyhedron or no? By giving one simple formula for your studies. So by that we can say that not a polyhedron. Suppose if it will obey f plus v equal to e plus 2, it is a polyhedron. It is a polyhedron. Thank you students for listening today's class. Complete this chapter. Writing till up to 8 bit. Neat diagram should be there. And I am very thankful for the students who have sent for me in WhatsApp. First you show it for your parents. With the sign send it in my WhatsApp. Parents send. Because some parents are saying that their children are not working. So bring confidence in the parents also, teachers also. And bring name for school and family. What children? what I said and I am really happy for those children who are sending for me in WhatsApp their work. So continue and there are still more children are there who are escaping. So think that if you escape today, you will be caught tomorrow.